Hello guys, this is Kishan and this video is to understand basically the dense ring function, also the use of row num in ordering and the most basic interview question of finding the maximum salary or the second maximum salary from table. So let me give you a case like just for an, uh, a brief understanding, this is the salary from maximum to minimum present in the employees table. Now if somebody asks you how would you find the max of the salary from a particular table, very easy, right, select max of salaries from employee. But what when somebody asks to find out the second max salary, what we can do is we just ignore the maximum salary and then take the maximum salary of the remaining to find the second max. Like as we have seen the maximum salary is 2400, so what I did is select maximum salary from employees where salary not in and I ignore this 2400 so what I get is the second max as we can see when I execute this query we get 17,000 the second max salary so this was a pretty way to find the second max salary now what if somebody asks you to find the third max salary or the fourth max salary so to do that either there are two ways I'll show you the both one the first way is first of all we'll order the sal salaries of present in the employees table decreasing in the decreasing order so here we have 2400, 1700, 1700 in decreasing order now I'll put this in a sub query and just number them using the row num function what row num function does it nothing it just numbers the rows as I have already ordered the rows from decreasing order so the one having the one coming the first is always the highest salary the second will be the second max salary so what I did is I took the salaries I ordered it in in decreasing order and then I just numbered them so now if you want to find the second highest all you need to do is execute this query where I have already numbered the rows in decreasing order and write 2 when you write 2 you get the second max salary which is 1700 now here comes the tricky part Say suppose you want to find the third max and you write 3. What happens is it still returns your 17,000. 17, Why it returns 17,000 is because as you can see over here the third the third number over here is 17,000. Then the fourth is 14,000. So the two employees present in employees table with a salary of 17,000. So this basically won't work every in every case but uh, whenever there is a unique this will never be the case but if there are unique uh, numbers present then you can use this and you know just rank them and then find whichever rank you want the first being and whatever way you have ordered it if I would have ordered it in ascending order the one with the first rank would be having the minimum salary let's see that so 2100 is the minimum salary because I ordered it in the ascending order rather than dec decreasing so that was it. Now to solve that issue where you have uh, two, uh, two salaries present and you are returning two rows over here what to do. For that Oracle has given us something called as time dense rank function. What this dense rank function does it? It gives us numbers of all the, it gives a particular number, a particular rank to all the rows returned. But if a particular no column is returned twice like 17,000 in our case not the particular column whatever we are ordering by if it is returned twice dense rank function would give them the same number over here as we can see both are given number 2 and then 1400 is given number 3 so whenever there is a repetition like the 7 and 8 column both are given number 6 so if I write something like if I give an alias to this column as say rank and I do something like employees table where rank is equal to 3 I'll get the third max um, as you can see it didn't allow me to put this over here what I can do is uh, uh, as it given over here as a rank I can do select star from and use it as an inline view where rank is equal to 3 so we get 14,000 over here when we are doing rank is equal to 3 we are getting 17 
thousand because of seventeen thousand was present two times in the table. So this is our answer to find whatever number of salaries or it is basically to find out whatever rank. First of all, you will rank out all the rows and then you will fetch whichever rank you want, like maximum salaries or minimum salaries or. Uh, order you can order by the higher date and see who is the most experienced or the most inexperienced in this table that way. Now one more thing we can uh, do over here is when we are ranking it, we can, uh, as you can see, we can find the third or the fourth. Now what if we want to, you know, this employees uh, table has something called as department ID. So every department has different maximums and minimums of salary as we can see department 10 has only one employee, 20 has two employees, 30 has four employees. So what if somebody asks you to find out uh, the maximum and minimum from department ID 30 or, so, or something like I want the maximum salary from every department. So in that case what you need to do is I just remove this the rank what I did. So in that case what we can do is, we can partition the table using the partition by clause. Partition by department id. Oh, sorry for this. Department id. And I am ordering by salary in the decreasing order. So what happens is it gives a rank, basically it will give rank for every department. We put the department ID clause so that we can understand it better. So as we were saying, for department number 30, it has ordered the maximum salary. Also it has ordered the maximum salary for 20. 10 is only one employee, so um, there is nothing to it. So over here we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, for 40 we can see one, two, it's only one employee, so only one rank. For 50, again, we can see as the maximum has rank one, the second max two, third max three. So what we have done is we have, we have partitioned the table based on the department ID. And now if we, you know, put this uh, in an inline view and we want to say, suppose, maximum salaries for all the departments, then we can just write something like where rank is equal to 1 and we will get for every department the maximum salary. So using the dense function, dense rank function, we can even partition the table on a particular column and then get the rank based on that particular column. So it is a very nice function, very handy day-to-day uh, -day use. So this was it. Different ways to find out uh, different ranks from a particular uh, table and use them. So as you can see we have already seen the row num function but just to go a bit in deep is row num function does nothing new it just gives number to every 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 row that is fetched. So if we are fetching if we are fetching rows in a particular order say order by salary in our case we are decreasing. So always the first one in decreasing order the salary always the first one will be the maximum salary. So we can, but there is one thing, the tricky thing over here is, see, if I select something like um, department ID, salary, row num, from employees, order by salary, just, just to understand it. If you can see, the row num over here, number one is this one, 24. And number two is this, number three is this. So what it has done is, it has ordered the salary in, in over here, I have not given any ascending or descending, let me give descending and see. So as we can see over here, we have, the numbering is given in descending order and uh, we have seen, we can get this output. But just for our information, what over here happening is, it is not necessary that in this case, if we see row num as uh, 46 to be the fourth salary or the 46th salary, basically 
the query is executed with the row number is given first and then the order by clause is executed what i wanted to you to observe over here is even when 1400 is the four, four, fourth row should be fetched by this order by clause being the fourth largest salary it doesn't have row number as four or three okay what is has is 46 so what we can understand by this is the query is executed from select to employees first and then it is ordered by the order by clause so when you if you want to use the row in such case you cannot use it over here you need to put this query in a sub query and then in the outer query you can write like select star from the inner query select star from inner query when you do this you get all the salary so when i write select um, department ID salary and row num is rank department ID salary and the row num so in this case what happens is 1400 gets the number 4 as we can see before it was getting number 46 when we were using it with simple single query and order by the clause so order by clause is executed after row num we need to be very careful with this sometimes we might get into trouble if we use a row num in the same query where we have written the order by clause so row num should be afterwards so now over here we get 1400 as 4 which is totally correct so we cannot use row num with the sorry we can use it but it won't give us the result that we are designing so always row num should be used uh, in the outer query and in the inner query or the inline view we should be ordering by whatever column we want so this was particularly thing which i have observed i have seen people making mistakes at and wanted my viewers to know about it so thank you for viewing this video hope you will like it subscribe and share